Hello there, everyone. Welcome to Bright River Chapel. It's Sunday the 14th of April 2024. And we're uh, having this brief time of worship and sharing, praying with our mm. good friends, Con and Adrian. Hi there. Hello. Hi. <laughs> and uh, uh, anyone else that's out there at the moment or joining us on the YouTube recording later, I'm Bob. I'm Mary. And uh, we're, we're coming from the wilds of Northumberland in northeast England today. So let's just start in prayer before mm. we before we go any further. Father, we just thank you for this day. We thank you that we can meet together online. And uh, we just thank you for your great love for us. We want to come into your presence and just to come to worship you, mm. to listen to your voice, to mm. give ourselves to you afresh today. We love you and we just want to come come close to you in Jesus name amen amen so um Mary tell us something <laughs> that's been going on this week I'll just go and check out on the on the Facebook live ah okay <laughs> well whenever you say that my mind always goes a bit fuzzy um no but we we one thing um which was lovely this week we've been uh to Durham Cathedral and uh, in a a meeting meeting for Cedarwood Festival and uh, so with a group of people and we had a lot of lovely worship we uh, we had some prayer time and it, it was just wonderful being in such an amazing place Durham Cathedral is really huge if you haven't been there and it's it's just awesome really just feeling the um the sense of history and the Christians that have been worshipping for many years in, in that cathedral. So we had a wonderful time. Yeah, yeah that was good. Yeah. And uh, I don't know what your week's been like um, mm. uh, as you join us today. But um, I, I wonder if um, Con and Adrian have ha had a, a, a nice week, a, a bad week, a leisurely week. What's been happening with you two? We had a very good week because we've been away for three days in mm. Stirling, uh, partly to celebrate our wedding anniversary yeah. and partly yeah. to see friends and partly to uh, use up an old Premier Inn evening that we needed to to use. So we've made the most of the Easter holidays by mm. by being away. So we really felt God yeah, on both of the time. Mm, so absolutely. That's <clears throat> oh, that sounds great. Lovely. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna start with um worship with the with Waymaker. You are here moving in our midst, which we mm. we felt um we need to know that that God is making a way, don't we? Well, whatever our circumstances, we need to know that He is um leading us and helping us through. So um yeah. let's let's start with that. Now um, you Wait, may need to, to to mute Con and Adrian if you're on uh, if you're going to join in. You, you, you are, are here. here. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good start, isn't it? Uh, um, start again. <laughs> worship you, yeah. You <clears throat> worship you. You, you are, are here. here. Moving in a mist, I worship you. I worship you. You are here, working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, moving in a I worship you, I worship you, you are here, working in this place, I worship you, I worship you, Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light 
in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are here, touching every heart. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, healing every heart. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, turning lives around. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, mending every heart. I worship you. I worship you. In the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Way make a miracle work, a promise keeper. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. 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 In the darkness, my God, that is who you are. We make a miracle work, promise keeper. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. So. How is the way looking for you, I wonder? What is going on for you? Is it just one step at a time right now, isn't it? Um, it's probably the best way to be. It says in Galatians to stay in step with the Spirit. And um, really that's how we should walk. We should walk in step with the Spirit. Proverbs 3, 5 and 6 has been a, a scripture that we've really um, lent in on. From the Lord over yeah. the years, isn't it? Yeah, Trust in the Lord with yeah. all your heart. Lean not on your own <clears throat> understanding in all your ways. Acknowledge, Acknowledge him, him and, and he will direct your path. Make your path straight. He will. Yeah. <laughs> Make your path straight. He will yeah. direct your path. Show you where to go. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Well. <clears throat> I've got a bit of a... <clears throat> oh well. <laughs> Funny throat today. I know. Yeah. This is my desire <clears throat> to honour you. <clears throat> this is my <clears throat> desire <clears throat> to honour you. I've done it again, I've set it off funny, haven't I? <clears throat> This is my desire to honor you, Lord, with all my heart, I worship you. I'm 
take every moment I'm away. Lord, have your way in me. Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my soul. breath that I take, every moment I'm away, Lord have your way in me, this is my desire, to honor you, Lord with all my heart, I worship you. All I have within me, I give you praise. All that I adore is in Lord, I give you my heart, I give you my soul, I live for you alone, every breath that I take, every moment I'm away, Lord, have your way in me, Lord, I give you my heart. Lord, I give you my heart, I give you my soul, I live for you alone, every breath that I take, every moment I'm awake, Lord, have your Well, earlier on, um, our good friend Adrian, Adrian was telling us um, uh, something from Isaiah chapter 26. I don't know if you've got that to hand, Adrian, if you want to just yes, have, that yeah. for a moment. Would you like to speak into that for a little moment? Shall I read? I'm reading it from the Amplified. I was awake in the middle of the night and I couldn't get back to sleep. So I went and got a cup of tea and my Bible. And this is what came to mind. You will keep in perfect and constant peace the one whose mind is steadfast, that is, committed and focused on you in both inclination and character, because he trusts and takes refuge in you with hope and confident expectation. Mm. And verse 4, trust confidently in the Lord forever. He is your fortress, your shield and your banner for the Lord God is an everlasting rock, the rock of ages. And what came to mind as I was sort of pondering on, on that was not just the peace that God provides, which we know is a peace that passes all understanding, but actually was a stillness within that as well, and just being still. And on, 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 as I was again thinking and meditating on that, Another verse came to mind, which was actually, as I discovered it later today from Proverbs 4, which was, keep your eyes straight ahead mm -hmm. and your eyelids right before you. So somehow mm -hmm. I just felt all these three aspects were sort of joined together for me. So in the peace, there is a stillness. 
it, it actually reminded me of an old Chris Tomlin song where in the choir, in the stillness, mm. you were there. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and then in that stillness, we need to keep our eyes mm. fixed straight ahead because it's that path that is straight ahead that we don't waver from it to the right or to the left. Mm. That keeps us in that path of peace. <clears throat> keeps us, yeah. Um, in the stillness of that. And it's interesting, Bob, that you mentioned Proverbs 3, 5 and 6, because mm. in my study Bible, where it says your eyelids keep right, mm. that word right is the same as in um, Proverbs 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct. No. Your past. So that mm -hmm. word direct is the same as right, oh, which is yeah. to keep focused and to keep yeah. Yeah. in the head. So those three yeah. things, I think, for me, really key in keeping a, a rhythm going mm. to get closer to God this week, to keep in peace, mm. to keep still and to keep our eyes looking mm. straight ahead. Mm. Yeah. Mm. No, that's great. That's really good. Thank you for that, Adrian. Mm. Uh, it's a constant challenge to step out. Uh, it's a daily thing, isn't it? Mm. To understand um, and keep uh, in that faith position of knowing that God is with you and there are things that he uh, has appointments for you in the day and to keep in peace about it and not to um, get agitated um, and take it in <laughs> yourselves. I've been reading a Mm. A book called Sensible Shoes that um, actually is really um, more of a, uh, a a book for for women. Really, mm. it's uh, it's about four ladies. Has anybody it. else read that? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've uh, Naomi gave me a copy a couple of weeks ago. Okay. Oh. And I, I think she felt there were things in it that I needed to hear, mm. and I I absolutely devoured it. Oh right. Well, um, I've not got to the end of it yet, so don't oh, get any spoilers. I couldn't uh, put it down, but um, yeah. Yeah, no, and there's a study guide with it that mm. um, I've been, I, I mm. haven't, to, to be fair, I haven't um, answered the questions, but I did skim mm. look at them and they, they provoked me to think about the the story a bit more. It's about four ladies uh, who are part of a larger group on a, a spiritual retreat and uh, their characters are portrayed um very deliberately, I think, in very different ways, so that yeah, it gives you the opportunity to identify with one yeah. of them, perhaps, yeah. or two of them. And uh, yeah. there's one lady there that's there, really, because she's in burnout, really, from, I think, far too much time um, finding her identity in the things she does as uh, in church work. And um, I, I, I sense the danger <laughs> <laughs> you can get yeah. into. So even when you know something <laughs> is actually at the centre of God's will, the temptation to take it into yourself as um, and make it uh, yours in a in a wrong way that I, that sense of identity you know that it's all about what I'm doing in it and finding your value in that I think that there's a lot of danger in in that to 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 pull away from that and then take I think it's Luke chapter ten when the seventy two come back um, to Jesus and he says you know don't rejoice that you've just been casting out demons and all this stuff. Uh, rejoice that your names are written in the book of life in other words the relationship with with god father son and holy spirit is the key is the thing to rejoice in mm. not how much work you've done this week for the lord um so yeah i really love the uh it's provoking me adrian con uh, as well that book and i think you um uh you're about the same same place in the in the book, aren't you, darling, in, in Sensible Shoes? Yes. I read it a little while ago, um, that part, and then... Um, I pinched it. Yeah, yeah I, got, <laughs> <clears throat> I got distracted onto something else, yeah. I think. But um, I've been trying to keep it distracted yeah. so I can finish the book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Um, well, yeah. nevertheless, it's... Um, I know it's a yeah. good book, and um, I know some people that have... Uh, been doing it in Annick actually uh, a group and uh, one of my friends was saying how much it had helped her so I know it's good so I will get there mm, yeah and in fact our friend um, Carol Charlton if you're in the mm. northeast in September um, I think that perhaps the 14th she's having Saturday the 14th she's going to be having in uh, uh, her area of Northumberland 
uh, the author of that book is coming. Yeah. So I'm looking yeah. forward to that. Perhaps that's um, why your friend Naomi mentioned it, Adrian. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, that's got me sidetracked to uh, a different song to the one I was going to do, although they're both, they're both on topic. Mm. I was going to sing Jesus, Love of My Soul, and we might do that. But to be in your presence, let's sing that one because it's really just wanting to reinforce that this is the place we should be. This is the place of peace and stillness, as, as Adrian was, was emphasising earlier on as well and to step out really um with yeah, that definitely. center so let's just mm -hmm. go on to that mm. praise the lord <clears throat> mm. <clears throat> to be in your praise To sit at your feet Where your love surrounds me And makes me complete This is my desire is my desire this is my desire oh Lord. this is my desire to rest in your presence not rushing away to cherish each moment here I would stay this is my desire oh my desire this is my desire oh Lord, this is my desire to be in your presence to sit at your Where your love surrounds me And makes me complete This is my desire Oh, this is my desire This is my desire, oh Lord, this is my desire, to rest in your presence, not rushing away. To cherish each moment Here I would stay This is my desire Oh Lord, this is my desire This is my desire, oh, this is my desire, this is my desire, oh, this is my desire. 
This is my desire, oh Lord, this is my desire. Yes, Lord, this is our desire. To be in your presence, mm. to rest in your presence, not rushing away, cherishing each moment. Lord, here we would stay. Mm. Praise you, Lord. Amen. May that be the heart cry of all of us, Lord, on this Zoom worship mm. time. Yeah. Praise you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Well. I was just thinking of, I've been looking at Psalm 27 um, for the last couple of weeks and just sort of keep going back to it. And right in the middle of Psalm 27, verse 4, it says, The one thing I ask of the Lord, the thing I seek most, is to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, delighting in the Lord's perfections and meditating in his temple and that um, living in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Um, in some of the other versions, it says stay, staying in his presence every moment, you know, being in his presence. And um, I don't know about you, but sometimes one is so busy minded that, that that's, it's actually quite difficult to switch to just being still and enjoying his presence. So um, I just encourage you to keep going, keep trying. You know, if your mind's busy, just keep keep sort of thinking, well, just for five minutes, you know, put your egg timer there or something. I'm just going to be quiet and just try and still and relax and and see, you know, if I can draw near to God and hear his voice and sometimes you have to per persist it's not always easy to drop into that quiet place yeah. but it is really worth it it's really worth keeping yeah. going and just because God is there it's just our minds get so all over the place that it takes sometimes it takes longer to still oneself down but I encourage you to keep going well wow. yeah um so we're going to finish with Jesus, love of my soul. And then I'm going to ask you, Con, if you uh, could have the last word, any comments and, and wrap us in a prayer. I feel as if the Lord has been giving us a theme today mm -hmm. in terms of his peace mm -hmm. and that call, that invitation to stay with him mm -hmm. and to walk in step with him. So let's sing Jesus, love of my soul. I'll never let you go. <clears throat> Jesus, lover of my soul, Jesus, I will never let you go. You've taken me from the miry clay, set my feet upon the rock, and now I know I love you. I need I'll never let you go, my Savior, my closest friend. I will worship you until the very end. Jesus, lover of my soul, Jesus, I will never let you go. You've taken me from the miry clay, set my feet upon the rock, and now I know I love you, I need you, though my world may fall, I'll never let you go, my 
my closest friend I will worship you until the very end I love you I need you Though my world may fall I'll never let you go My Savior My closest Taken me from the miry clay, set my feet upon the rock, and now I know. Well, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Uh, shout out to you, Laura. Uh, nice to have you uh, with us in the worship as well on Facebook Live today. God bless you. Um, so. Uh, yes, Adrian, uh, come. Let's have you too with us today. And if you've got any final comments, come and, and uh, closing prayer, of course, Adrian mm. as well. You're very welcome to mm. add in something as we close. Yeah, one, one thing that's been going through my mind in connection with the business of peace mm -hmm. is that, yes, as Christians, if we have some decision to make, of course, the, the wise thing is to bring it before the Lord and pray about it. So, mm -hmm. yes, we should do that. But the outcome of that in, I think, both our experience is that very often then it becomes the thing, the option about which we have the most peace, which is the wise way to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is perfectly consistent, isn't it? Because we know that, among other things, God is the God of peace. Mm -hmm. And that we're, when we're talking about aspects of the Holy Spirit, we often identify peace as being one of those. So, yes, and of course, as far as we can, I think it's Paul that writes it somewhere, um that you know as far as we can we should live in peace and harmony with those around us mm -hmm. very important principle but we need to be seeing it from a godly perspective because there are ways that it can be somewhat um diluted or diverted mm -hmm. out there mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. is it scripture then yes that's that's real peace yeah mm -hmm. Oh, thank you for that, Con. Yeah. Close in prayer for us then. Thank you. Sure. Mm. So, Father, we bless your name. We thank you that you are indeed the God of peace. And, Lord, we thank you that we've had a peaceful time together. Lord, lifting up your name and praising you and declaring who you are. Mm. And, Lord, as we look forward to the next week, whatever we expect to be ahead and whatever we may not expect that happens. We ask, Lord, that you go before us mm. and you bring the rear and you guide us and give us wisdom. Mm. Mm. Yes. Well, bless our loved ones and friends, Lord, and be at work in their lives surround us. In Jesus' mm. name. Yeah. Amen. 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 Well, uh, if you want to get in contact with us, um, it's Bob Bain, B O B B A I N, at hotmail.co.uk. And you're always welcome to contact us that way and, or join us um, on these Bright River Chapel Zooms. Next Sunday, the 21st of April, um, we're going to be actually having a live in person uh, time in Annick, our local town here in Northumberland, at three o'clock for an hour. Um, but we will come on probably just for five minutes just to say hi on a Facebook Live at about quarter past four. Um, we're talking UK time here. Yeah. So if you're listening from somewhere else, do make the adjustments. 
Um, yeah. So um, that's what's happening. And you're very welcome to join us if you're local to the Northumberland area. In Annick, we meet at the Costello Centre in Bailiff Gate. So, um, yeah, it'd be lovely to see you there. So bye for now. And uh, have a great week. Hang on, this yeah. changed. Yeah, bye-bye. Yeah. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 bye.